I'm John Law, this is Chasing Cars, and yesterday Tesla released its first set of official Australian sales figures. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing just how many Teslas sold in Australia. And considering it's only one model, the Model 3, the figure is pretty impressive. But I'm gonna save that for a second because while we're gonna talk about that, we're also gonna talk about how it compared to other plug-in electric vehicles, talk about a little bit of discrepancy that happened just after Tesla revealed their original 15,000 car claim and why that was brought to arrest. And finally, we're going to discuss why it is that Tesla continues to be the dominating party in Australian EV sales. So just how well did the Tesla Model 3 sell in Australia last year? Well, 12,094 were delivered to customers. That's really astounding, especially when you consider the second best selling EV, Australia's cheapest electric car, the MG ZS, only managed 1,388 units, or roughly 10 times less. So that's pretty crazy, considering this thing's also a premium mid-sized car. Speaking of which, the Model 3 managed to outsell the BMW 3 Series, 3 to 1, also the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, and the Audi A4, which all occupy a similar price bracket. And I think that's pretty crazy. Now, one other honorable mention will go to the Porsche Taycan, which managed to to sell 531 units, and in total, Australians bought 17,243 battery electric vehicles in 2021, which accounted for 1.6% of the marketplace. Now let's talk about the elusive Tesla sales figures, because they've never reported their sales in Australia to the peak automotive body here, the FCAI, who usually deals with car sales figures and that sort of thing, and after a bit of a shakedown in 2020, seems to be really accurate. Now, Tesla originally published that they sold 15,054 Model 3s in 2021. Now that was fact-checked by one of our fellow publications, Drive, who said that according to the National Exchange of Vehicle and Driver Information Systems, which is basically how many cars were registered in 2021, that figure was 12,058. Now, after a little bit of backwards and forwards and some conjecture saying that Tesla was artificially inflating its sales numbers, though why it would do that when it's already so far ahead of the other competition is unclear. Basically, they've reneged on that claim and adjusted it to 12,094 vehicles sold in Australia in 2021. And I should add, it's only of one vehicle, the Model 3 mid-size sedan. No Model S's or Model X's hit Australian roads in 2021. So why exactly is Tesla almost 10 times ahead of its next closest competitor when it comes to sales? Well, there's obviously a lot of reasons, including people loving Elon and also marketing campaigns and that sort of thing. But one of the really solid reasons it comes down to is charging infrastructure. As we found out when we did our Chasing Cars EV challenge, where we range tested a whole load of EVs, you can check that video out if you haven't done so already, we found that the Tesla was simply the easiest to live with. There are over 45 supercharging stations currently scattered around Australia's states and territories, and that just means that you've always got a place to charge a car. Now, yes, they might not be as quick as ChargeFox's 350 kilowatt items, but at 120 kilowatts for the V2 or 250 kilowatts for the V3, they are pretty decent, and there's just a lot of them out there. Yes, they are expensive, but it just means if you need the charge, you can get it. The other big reason that Tesla continues to sell impressively not only in Australia, but also in the rest of the world where the car manufacturer shifted 936,000 Model 3s worldwide last year, which is frankly insane for a fairly niche electric vehicle. It comes down to manufacturing and supply chains. Now, as legacy manufacturers are starting to begin to produce EVs, there is a little bit of lag in getting things right, getting tooling and getting a reliable supply chain. And that means cars that are direct rivals for Teslas, such as the Kia EV6 and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, are being limited in how many vehicles come to Australia. For those two cars, it's 500 for the total of 2021. Now, when you compare that to how many vehicles Tesla sold a week, which is 230, you start to get the picture of just how far ahead Tesla is when it comes to marketing, selling, and manufacturing their products and getting them delivered to customers. So what do you think of all that? You can let me know in the comment section down below whether you reckon a Tesla or another EV is gonna be your next car or whether you're sitting with a combustion engine for the time being. While you're down there leaving a comment, we'd also love it if you could hit that subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't done so already. And as always, thank you for watching Chasing Cars.